Welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. I'm Pastor Vandercook. Of course, today isn't Monday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, but we're going to have Mondays in the Psalter on a Tuesday this week and uh, hopefully get back on track in the weeks to come with our recordings and with our devotions here. Today we're looking at Psalm 119, verses 17 through 24. Uh, and again, as I've said before with Psalm 119, Psalm 119, Psalm 119 is an acrostic. Uh, it is a, uh, a big acrostic. We have some acrostics, again, that are psalms that start with each of, the, each of the lines. They're 22 lines long, and they start with each of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet as you go through the alphabet. Uh, psalm 119 is different, and that is a huge acrostic uh, in that each section uh, is named for the next letter in the Hebrew alphabet, and then each line in the section of the psalm begins with that same letter. So every section, or I'm sorry, every line of this portion of the psalm, uh, Gimel, all 22 lines start with the letter, Hebrew letter, Gimel. Now, of course, you don't see that in the English translation, but uh, you know, if you get your hands on a, a, a Hebrew translation of the Old Testament, you'll see what I mean there. So let's look at the text itself to start with. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I am a sojourner on the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your just decrees at all times. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones who wander from your commandments. Take away from me scorn and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counselors. Now this section here of this psalm, uh, it's important to remember once again that if you are the servant of the Lord, it says deal bountifully with your servant. If you're going to pray this psalm, you can't pray it unless you are rightfully the servant of God. Uh, and in order to be the servant of God, how does that happen? Well, you're baptized. Uh, in your baptism, you were made God's child. Uh, Christ's death and resurrection was applied to you in your baptism, and so you've been clothed with his righteousness. So now you can pray this psalm with confidence uh, because the things that follow also show uh, characteristics of uh, the sanctified Christian, not characteristics of an unbeliever. Uh, you know, um, open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. In holy baptism, our eyes are opened and we see God. Through the sacraments, God opens our eyes that we can see his law and that we can live as his people. Um, and then uh, verse 19, it, it talks about the reality that uh, of, of what we are as Christians. I'm a sojourner on the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. I'm a sojourner on the earth. This is not our permanent address uh, because we look forward to the life of the world to come when we'll be, we'll be taken from... Uh, this world uh, and transported in our resurrected bodies to the life of the world to come, to be with Jesus for eternity. But while we're a sojourner on this earth, we ask that God would not hide his commandments from us because we want to live by them. And in fact, our soul is consumed with longing for his just decrees at all times. We also recognize that God rebukes those who reject his commandments. Uh, this rebuke may not come in the form of the here and now, uh, as certainly we see the wicked prosper, but we have this assurance that uh, God will one day execute justice on those who reject his commandments. Um, Take away from me scorn and, scorn and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Once again, the world has scorn and contempt.
God's word has for us, and we live according to his word. So as God's servant, pray this psalm this week, that you would, uh, that you would live as God's people, that you would seek his guidance, that you would seek the guidance that comes through his word to live as one of his baptized children. God's blessings to you this week. We'll see you next week on Mondays in the Psalter.